Fucking welcome back to the show, guys. Welcome back to the show. We're just absolutely buzzing to be back. Jack's been on all day. We haven't seen each other for a few know, days. It's been so too long, mate. He's going to fucking long. swank me off. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so gay, you are. You're so gay. But yeah, welcome back to the show, guys. If you haven't already, click subscribe. Bish, bash, bosh. Sound. Go for it, mate. Right, we're going to go straight into this one, mate. It's, uh, it's current news for all sports and boxing fans out there. Um, so, Mike Tyson ca- causes a flight delay by two hours. That's what the headlines say anyway. So um, Causes? Sp- causes a two-hour deli- two flight delay. Mm. Um, and I- in, the, uh, in the news, Instagram, uh, all the socials and all that sort of stuff, it's caused by Mike Tyson's um, stomach ulcers. He needed medical... Is that for sure? Is that legit? That, that's what the headlines say, bro. So... The flight delay was nothing to do with Tyson. The flight delay was due to um, medical issues with the plane. Uh, sorry, um, issues with the plane. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's what caused, caused the two-hour flight delay. However, Tyson was ill on the plane. He was ill. He's made a full recovery. The fight's still going on um, July 20th. Really? Yeah. There's, there's, so, there's, so all this bullshit about him not fighting? Yeah. All oh. the bullshit about... People, man. Yeah. Well, they said that they, he caused the flight delay by two hours when... It was nothing to do with him as such. They will, they'll make just for the headline, innit? Bro, the headlines do it all the time. Just for the headline, bro. 100%. It's all that clickbait. Um, but yeah, July 20th, mate, the fight's still happening. I'm buzzing to watch it, to be fair. The only, the only reason is because we've mentioned this a million and one times before. It's a lose-lose for Jake Paul. Yeah. It's a lose-lose for Jake Paul. And he loses. if he loses, he loses to an old man. Of course he does. But if he loses... He loses to Mike Tyson. Yeah. So if if he wins, he loses. He, he beats an old man. Yeah, of if he loses, it's because he's, he's fucking beating beat an old man. man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so it's a strange one. Very strange. It's a very very strange one. Is he going to get knocked out, Tyson, by a fucking heavy hit in two hundred and forty pound? He's massive at the moment. He's clearly on gear as well, Jake Paul. <laughs> he, he's got to be. He's got to be on the test. And I've heard that that Mike Tyson is also doing TRT, yeah. and has done for a while. Which, which, which you would expect in an old man. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so the rules, bro. Everyone was every, everyone was going about these rules, making up bullshit stories. Yeah, and I've all not that looked sort of into them, to be fair. People were saying the 16-ounce gloves, two-minute rounds, blah, 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 blah. Two-minute rounds is true. Tyson's um, supposedly um, asked for the two-minute rounds, which I don't really understand because it's a professional bout. It's going on both professional records. Tyson's obviously done the exhibition bouts mm. before, which hasn't gone on his professional record. That's but, a weird one. But this that? one is, and the reason behind it supposedly is Tyson can perform for them two minutes. Do you know oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he can go all out. He can go all out for them two minutes. Do you reckon he needs? Two I, and they're not sixteen ounce gloves either. Right? I believe I'm not too sure if I'm right, but they're between twelve and fourteen, they're not the standard ten ounce heavyweight gloves. Oh really? I'm so, gonna keep talking. Yeah. I'm gonna g- so so they are between twelve and uh, sorry, twelve and fourteen ounces. But at the s- in the same time, bro, you're getting hit in the head. I don't fucking think these ounces make a difference, bro. I've been hit by 10 ounces. I've been hit by 18 ounces. It depends who's behind the fucking glove, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it depends who who is letting that hammer go. And um, I'm, it, just look for, I'm just looking for 14 ounces. 14 ounces. They're using 14 ounce gloves. 14 ounce gloves. Extra padding, supposedly. I'm not too sure. Mate, I've been around boxing for a long fucking time now. And like I say, mate, it depends who's behind the fucking glove. Yeah, it, 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 it's mad. Um, it, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's, so, it's something that I want to see. Yeah. But at the same time, bro, I'd rather it not fucking happen. What, the fight? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 To, it, for, for, for starters, it's probably going to taint Mike Tyson's career if he loses against fucking Jake Paul. Of course. It'll just ruin, like, boxing fans, proper die hard boxing, boxing fans, fans are like, what are you doing? Yeah, not these casuals. But, yeah, but the casuals want to see the fight. Yeah, of obviously. course. And so do, to be fair, a lot of the... I the, think everybody wants to see the fight regardless. Everyone wants but, to see the fight because yeah. it, it, they want to see Mike... But it's not because they want to see Jake Paul fight, generally. No. I, I Personally, I think they want to see Mike Tyson fight again at 58. Yeah. To see what's what. 100%. Not necessarily Jake Paul. Yeah. They want to see what, but if, they want to see a young lad and, and Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's it. And but, I mean, in boxing, they say power's the last thing to go. J- Jake Paul's not the not. Um, he's not just a bitch, though. He's not. You know what, mate? He's got power behind a man. Fucking props, be- props to Jake Paul. Everyone gives him a hard time. 
So I'm going to use um, one of his last opponents, um, even though he got beat, and I kind of disagree with it. But I'm going to use Tommy Fiore, for example. Tommy Fiore, anyone, when you, when you start off your professional boxing career, if you're looked after and you're going to go somewhere, like if you're with match room, the zone, whatever, you kind of looked after to your box journeyman. Mm. And people put them down and say, oh, so-and-so is beat a taxi driver or, or a plumber or whatever. Do you know these gentlemen that come yeah, for a paycheck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. However you need them, you need them stepping stones. And Jake Paul, oh, he's knocked out uh, an MMA fighter and blah, 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 blah. But these guys got fucking better credentials than these uh, journeymen. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Jake Paul's doing the harder way around it and getting through with it. Props to him, mate. Everyone says, pe people don't like him. People don't like him because he's a fucking, he's a YouTuber, he's arrogant, he's this and he's that. And to be fair, mate, as much as I hate to say it, the fucking guy's doing bits in boxing. He's fucking tra he's tra training hard, though, isn't he's he? Training That's hard. The thing. He, yeah, he's got like, the best nutritionist, the best, best boxing coach. Oh, yeah, he's a multi-millionaire, isn't he? Yeah, of course. I, I've, I've, I've just read this thing. So when I typed in um, how big are the boxing gloves how for Mike, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, it says the Texas State Athletic Commission, which sanctioned the fight as an official pro bout. That's also a funny one, isn't it? The, the fact that it's a pro bout. Yeah. Uh, manda uh, mandated the use of 14-ounce gloves larger than the standard 10-ounce gloves to ensure the safety of the fighters given the significant age difference between Tyson and Paul. Apparently, that's why they've added the extra two ounce. It's a strange one, mate. It's a strange one. But also, obviously, what you said about the, the doping... Um is it Tyson's TRT in hundred percent? Texas State Athletic Commission. Did you just say so? Yeah, that, that's like Vada as well. That's like um, I mean, they're they're quite anal with uh, fucking with gear, juicing in sports and performance enhancing yeah. drugs. So I'm not too sure, bro. I'm not too sure that if they can swing. I'm, the I'm just looking now to see uh, uh, what I can get up of Mike Tyson and his TRT. So I think if uh, anything's going to be found in either person. Believe it or not, bro, he's gonna be fucking mushrooms. Because I watched, uh, I watched. Oh hot yeah, definitely. I watched hot boxing not long ago, and uh, Mike Tyson actually quotes on that. Before this Jake Paul fight even got fucking thought about, Tyson actually quotes on that, saying, "If he experienced mushrooms like he has now, he would have used them throughout his whole professional career in the past." Really? Yeah. Which is which is mind boggling to me. Do you know what I mean, like, I don't understand what, how it would make you perform better or what. Do you know, I know. It, is it cognitive? You know, cognitive about function. Cognitive yeah. function. Mate, I, I, like, I take mushrooms every day. Yeah. Every single day. Um, what? Since I've been having my, since I've been having my gut problem. Like, obviously, people don't know, but I've been having some gut issues right now. Um, so since I've been having my gut issues, I've cut everything out just so I can uh, process of elimination. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I can intro I'm introducing things back and then I'm cutting it back. But um, every day I'll have lion's mane, chaga, cordyceps, reishi. Uh, and I'll actually microdose psilocybin. So, and I feel for my cognitive, like the, it's one of them ones where it's talked about, it's hearsay, it's Chinese whispers and whatnot, but I just went and tried it and I feel fucking miles better for it. I'm way more, um, like my cognitive ability is way higher, moves at a way higher standard than before. Because, yeah, yeah. and I don't, I've never done a mushroom trip though. I am, I, I am probably going to do one. I am going to do one though. I yeah. am going to do one just to see because. It's just, it's just one of them things that I'll, it's not, the thing is, mushrooms and stuff like that, it's not like cocaine and ketamine and all that, that all the party drugs and stuff. It's not, people do take them at parties, yeah, but yeah. it's not for that. I want to, I want to take it for, I want to see what everyone's talking about yeah, that's in it. terms of like Mike Tyson, Joe Rogan, all the people, they all talk about it. There's so many athletes taking mushrooms now. Oh, Chaga, Chaga is one of the most powerful antioxidants on the planet, yeah. that mushroom. I'm pretty sure it's, in terms of, in terms of, the potency of it, I'm pretty sure it's like millions more effect, million times more effective than the second most powerful antioxidant. Yeah, if which that is, makes sense. Yeah, which yeah, is I'm like, just, which is a, I'm pretty sure it's a berry. Yeah, I'm say blueberries are fucking real high up in. Yeah, I'm gonna, to, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm think because I don't want to. Just, wanna just, just what's you doing that, mate? Just what's you doing that? Obviously, you just went in there yeah, and, sa on. and said about um, I take mushrooms every day. So for the viewers and the listeners, that instantly for a, maybe an immature mind in terms of that They're aspect, like fucking oh, magic, mush druggy. magic mushrooms. A you, know, you, you don't do it for a trip; you do it for health benefits. Yeah, microdose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I feel loads better. Like I can mind I'm more switched on. I'm way more switched on. Yeah. And I, everyone who I've said to go and try it, they all try it. Oh, so you're, so you're pushing drugs now? Yeah, push drugs yeah. out. Hard. Push them motherfucking drugs, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you can get the, you can get these like. 
like psilocybin and stuff, that's not legal, but you can get, well, it, it is, it, you can just grow it anywhere, yeah, but costs. you can get it, pick it off the street. Yeah. You can literally pick it, go in a, in, into the woods and fucking pick it off the yeah, thing. Yeah, that's it. But, um, the, you can order the stuff offline, like Chago, Reishi, Lion's Mane, all that. They're promoting it all over online at the moment. Yeah, yeah. But whether or not you get the real shit is the question. Exactly, that's it. So, do you, because it's into the fucking, like, what's the word? Um, um, Talk to me, bro. What's the word when uh, a, a new song comes out and it co- it goes onto the charts? What's it right. called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you know I, what I'm I saying? Know, I know what you're trying do to you say. Get my point. Yeah, it, yeah. It's like out into the ether, and everyone knows about it. So now it's a selling point. That's it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. a lot of people are selling it in their like on their um, social medias and stuff, saying there is like literally mushroom um, pages yeah. based on right. Don't drink that. Don't drink coffee. Drink this one. Don't drink this. Drink, drink mm. this one. All that sort of stuff. So it, it's it's mad. Yeah. It, the the benefits are crazy. So if you listen to this. And you haven't tried it? Do just some give research. it a go. Do just give research. it. Do a bit of research. Watch uh, Paul Stamets on Netflix. He's got um, the. Uh, I know what you're gonna say. It's, uh, Fantastic Fun Guy. Fa- yeah, that's the one. Fantastic Fun Guy, and there's loads of other shit. Mm. He talks about psilocybin and mushroom trips on that. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he's he talks about um, a mushroom trip he had that got rid of his stutter. He was oh, like really? crazy, but ba- crazy high stutter. I'm gonna get Johnny to pop that on there. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. the. The the he he has this stutter and he does like a hero dose or whatever it's called. I think it's like five gram or six gram or something like that mushroom. And then he has this trip and he's and because he's so embarrassed about this stutter, in this trip he talks about it and he goes, he he, he goes I'm, I, I'm I forced myself to stop stuttering. So he just says stop stuttering, stop stuttering, stop stuttering over and over and over and over again. And by the time he woke up, it was gone. That is fucking mad. Which know? is insane, isn't it? That's crazy. And he talks about it openly. That's crazy. Obviously, he's a doctor of mushrooms. He's a fun guy. He's the fun guy. The fun <laughs> you know, guy. He's yeah. a fun guy. The fun fair. guy. Fun guy. What was I researching there on on um, uh, if, if Chaga and uh, antioxidants? No, no, no. You was, was researching. Yeah, you was. You was doing that actually. Yeah, you kind of went off a little bit, but yeah, I'm with you. <clears throat> oh, so so you know that Asii berry. Yeah. Do you know what everyone? Jiu Jitsu is massive in As. I think it's As. How would you say it? It's A C A I. I would have, I would have pronounced Akai, but it's Acai, Acai, I think. Yeah, yeah. Acai berry. People talk about it in Jiu Jitsu all the time, and they get it in like the little fucking things, and um, they, they get it. They, they have it like in like ice creams and stuff like that, and oh, it's like shit. a fruit bowl and all. Yeah, yeah, they do loads of mad stuff, but that's really high in antioxidants. But Chaga, so is is Chaga is high. Oxygen radical absorbance capacity score of uh, one hundred forty six thousand seven hundred umol te dash hundred grams per hundred grams is nearly fifty percent higher than the the acai berry. That's it's, crazy. It's like that's literally double the amount. Yeah, yeah, literally. It, it, it's crazy. It is crazy. Um, uh, it, I'll, I'll just. It'd be good if jo- Johnny could do it, but he's not here, is he? What is the most antioxidant mushroom? Uh, Oh, there's actually more uh, powerful antioxidant mushrooms. Oh, what, a, yeah. More yeah. Than the Before we get into that, because we'll be fucking going into a rabbit hole with yeah, that with a mushroom stuff, but just fucking try it. Like, if you're listening, try lion's mane for starters, because I swear to God, if I have lion's mane late on in the day, my mind is too active to sleep. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ju- I'm I'm quite. What's the word? Um, Proactive. Not proactive. No, no. When I take stimulants, I it, oh, right, okay. it hits me quick. Yeah. You've got um, a lower tolerance lower to stimulants. Tolerance. Yeah, of course. Coffees, energy drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Co- coffee, not so much because it's something I have every day. Yeah, of so course. I built up the tolerance. But mm. any anything else? If I have like a knocko or a monster, I'm fucking You're wired, wired, mate. Yeah, that's I'm it. absolutely wired. Absolutely jamming off the walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just literally <laughs> fucking bouncing off the walls, mate. So if I do, if I have a knocko before a gym session, mate. Knocko's quality, by the way, it'll taste lovely. If I if I have a knocko for a gym session, I'm fucking going for it, mate. You're on it. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't want to stop. Yeah, just don't want to stop. But I don't take pre workouts because it, it 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 just makes me too jittery and yeah. I know there's ones that you can take without. I just stay away from them. Yeah, I'd rather just have the you know like a uh, high caffeine. Yeah, of course. Yeah, just keep going. You know, you know you know what's in it as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, in yeah. A, in a sense, hundred percent. What was I going to get up? I was going to get up uh, hot boxing, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, so what I, what I was saying, I was saying that obviously Mike Tyson said that about the mushrooms, that it's, it's a regret that he didn't find out about them before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then you was on about 
do you reckon it's took him before this fight? And I'm not too sure with the um, with the, with the with the drug testing before the fight. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I don't know, mate. I'm not too sure. I don't know how long they'll stay in your system. But do you know what? I actually, no, they, they won't be able to test for it. No. Can you test for mushrooms? Do mushrooms show up on drugs tests? Ah, oh, ah, uh, uh, it shows up on uh, blood uh, on tests designed for hallucinogenics. All right, okay, something that they don't test for. Who'd, why would they test for hallucinogenics? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't affect you, um, your uh, performance enhancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do sh- do shrooms show up on drugs tests? What about your own tests? Your analysis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrooms may show up on specific drug tests designed for hallucinogenics, but many common drug tests do not test for these compounds. Mm. So yeah, Tyson's why would you anyway? It don't affect you. like it's not like a maybe in years to come they'll see a performance enhancement from it. Yeah, but maybe it's so. a cognitive thing. It's yeah. not you don't get physically stronger or faster or anything like that. But I bet your brain, your brain reaction times, yeah, all mate, hundred percent, sort of yeah, like one million percent. And you ever caught a fly like? Yeah, just I do it all the time. Yeah, just catching it. I don't eat mushrooms. That's why I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're too fast. Just miss it. Just, yeah, just miss that motherfucker. Yeah, that that's what that that's what I that's what I would recommend to anyone. Yeah, without going into the mushroom rabbit hole. Just, watch watch Fantastic, Fantastic Fungi guy. on new Netflix. Then really really look into mushrooms because anyone anyone I know that's taken them. Not even tripped. Yeah, just a good benefit. Microdosing, but there's benefit from yeah, the health. Yeah. So many health benefits for cancer, uh, inflammation, cognitive ability, stress, anxiety, depression, a- everything you can think of. Yeah. Yeah, but we're, we're not sponsored by a fucking <laughs> mushroom. mushroom. Company. Literally. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know I mean, literally. There's a lot of fucking toads still, toads still behind the camera. Yeah, now, literally. Like. I just go, I don't go picking them. I was only joking. I, yeah. I was going to say I go picking them, but I don't know. I couldn't, couldn't be asked with that. <laughs> I just ordered them offline. Just, yeah, yeah. Straight through Royal Mail. Yeah, straight for fucking yodel. <laughs> Next day delivery jobby. Yeah. Yeah, so you reckon you reckon he has or he hasn't? Uh, I'm not too sure, mate. I think he's I, on TRT, Mike Tyson. He's got, he's got to be. He's got to be. But do you know what I'm saying? I think he is, because he looks good, mate, for a 58-year-old. He looks good now. He looks good, bro. And the thing is, he's trying to stay heavy as well. Yeah. Because he wants to be heavy for, for Jake Paul. He, he looks lean, though, but doesn't he? Jake Paul he looks in better shape than Jake Paul. He does look in better shape than Jake Paul, but Jake Paul does look a fucking tank, you know. Pitch. Oh, yeah, he's, mate, he's 240 pounds. But what excited me, what excited it's me like a lot in kilograms. 240 pounds in kilograms is 16.6, I think it is. 16 stone, 6 pounds. So it's 2.2 pounds per kilo, isn't yeah. it? So 240, divided by 2.2. 109 kilo. Oh, sorry, kilos. I was, I was, I was, yeah. Um, what excited me a little bit, though, about that fight, so when, yeah. when, when when it was breaking news, Tyson was ill and the plane fucking got delayed and all that sort of shit, um, Jake Paul was just hammering the Instagram by... Uh, sorry. 108.8. R- R- Ryan Garcia was hammering the Instagram, messaging Jake Paul, like, it's showing you the, the, the actual eye messages and that, that it was sending him saying that, I'll step in for Mike, I'll fight you, blah, 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 blah. And you know what, bro? It fucking excited me a little bit because if that fight happened... You got Jake Paul weighing in at two hundred and forty pounds. You've got Mate. you've got Garcia. I reckon he walks around. I reckon Garcia walks around about one fifty. So I think a, a one hundred and fifty pound Garcia. Do you reckon he would beat beat him? Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. What's that? A sixty pound weight advantage. I seen that on his thing. Um, I'm just gonna get just gonna get it up. A sixty pound weight advantage, bro. I think Garcia would still fucking beat Jake Paul. The heavier guy. You reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think you'll know more about it. I'll put it in this term for you, but like... Oh, it's gone. It's fucking gone. Jake Paul commented on... Jake Paul commented on Ryan Garcia's uh, Instagram. Oh, did he? So Ryan Garcia put, I can make the fight, I'll sub in. And then Jake Paul commented underneath, so the fight's still going ahead. So why? Oh, really? Yeah, the fight's still going ahead. Don't listen to any of the bullshit sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a it's a peculiar fight, bro. That I hope Tyson does him. I hope he, I really hope he does. But like you say, it's a lose lose for Jake Paul. He either gets beat by an old man or he loses. Oh, sorry, he either gets beat by an old man or he beats an or old he man. beats an old man. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. is. It, it, but Tyson's super confident. I know you have to be confident. I know he wouldn't go in there knowing that he's gonna th- that, that he's gonna win or thinking that he's gonna lose. Sorry, but just getting punched in the fucking head. Not even the face. 
it's the head yeah. that the problem is the, that, the, that the, everyone's talking about. Yeah, absolutely. It's the head. The equilibrium is. I think it's like um, over your, over your ears. Your equilibrium. That's like one of the first things to go, and that's why you see boxers get knocked out. Elderly boxers get knocked out by shots to the side of the temple or the side of the head. Yeah, that's where yeah. the legs go and all that sort and, of stuff. And Jake Paul's not massively accurate. He's not massively accurate, but, but he's he also... people in the head hard. He's, he's a big puncher, bro. Yeah. And especially when he's at two, 240 pounds, regardless of who he weighs between 200 and 240 pounds, is a big fucking guy. Mm. Hit someone on the chin, bro. Hit someone at the side of the head. Obviously an old man. They'll know about it. I, I bet Jake Paul's been training... For the way Jack, uh, the way Mike Tyson moves, because he's never he's never going to come up against a guy that moves in dead fast in the, in that clinch, peekaboo bam, style. Bam, bam, that yeah. peekaboo style. Yeah, there's no fucking way he's come against someone or even sparred with someone yet. Nah, that's been that moves like that. Nah, so there there is no one like that. No, the, 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 you can't even inter- uh, what's the word? Imagine if if fucking Mike Tyson just comes in. The first fucking thing he does is wham, 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 bam, and yeah, just fucking mate. sparks Wouldn't Jake Paul out. Wouldn't it be unreal? It'd be it'd be something that would go down in history. Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent, biggest comeback. And we'll it, won't, it won't be a comeback because he's not going to get against the fucking yeah, but still, champion. Or it's right. still a fucking comeback, bro. What, what is it? What, last time before, last it'd be time. like the headlines: fifty-eight year old man yeah. knocks out twenty-eight year old woman. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that kid, by the way, in the press conference that, that came up and was like, um, who's got the higher body count, you or Mike Tyson? Nah, I didn't see that. Fucking dead funny, mate. His kid on the mic, he was like, oh, I love you guys, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, who's got the higher body count, like, in terms of who's been shagged the most by blokes? Yeah, yeah. And it's fucking hilarious, mate, on the press conference. Let me get it up. Yeah, get it I'll up. I'll get it up because it's fucking dead funny. What are you? Put it on the screen. Big yeah. screen. Big yeah. screen, Jobby. So, so what's this then? He's asking who's had the higher body count in terms of sleeping with women. No, no, it's a joke. Did, didn't you? Did, didn't you hear Mike Tyson? Uh, sorry, um, did you hear like uh, like recently? It's the body count jo- the thing over the internet yeah, 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 with yeah. like slags and all that. Of course. So, a, someone with a body count, a guy doesn't have a body count. Nah. Generally, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. girl that has, that has the, body the body count. count. So, how many? Shags, how many bodies has she been yeah, through? Yeah, yeah. So it's like a running thing. But the way he's, the way the kids saying it is, is how many? Who's got the highest body count of blokes that's been through them? Right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Like I'm you would it. say it to a girl. Yeah, yeah. So the kids saying it to obviously implying, in, like implying that Jake Paul has yeah. got the the highest body yeah, count. Yeah, of course. But I'm guessing it's a, just a joke. But do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <clears throat> It's gonna be it's gonna be good, bro. Like I'm looking forward to the final face off as well. Seeing what shape Tyson's in, seeing what shape Jake Paul's gonna turn up in as well. Yeah. Right, that's some of the butchers then. Kid asks. <laughs> No fucking way. Is he? So you think he's he dominant. Who, who do you think's got a higher body count? What's your body count, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> What's your body face. count, Jake? Look at his face, man. No. Where is this kid's mother? <laughs> Jake, you think yours is higher? Tight shit, we outside. Go, go, boom, bitch. Go, <laughs> go, boom, bitch. Annoying because it hadn't showed the kid saying it. saying it. Yeah, yeah. It showed them while he's he's saying it. So I wanted to get the kid up. There he oh, is. There he is. There he is look. Disrespectful kid asked Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, their body count at the press conference. Yeah, it's fucking. They've, they've done it again, haven't they? Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah, these videos, man. Fighter Hub, they, they, have you clicked on that one? Let's see, let's see. There we go. <laughs> uh, older fighters have more heart and 
How old is he? Fucking 10? Yeah, no shit. I think the newer fighters have more skills that he's going to struggle. So that's why I'd be a better coach. Yeah, it's him. So, so you're saying that he's going to struggle because he's bigger than you? <laughs> well, yeah, well. <laughs> Ty, you know yeah, what? So, mate, Tyson's been funny, you know, like funny and laid back yeah. in the press conferences and stuff like that. That's why we're not going to see the real Matt Tyson. That's Do you reckon? Not, that's why we're not going to see. Well, yeah, but he was before. He was like Angry. demonic, wasn't he? Angry. He was like unhinged yeah. now he's like <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be a millionaire again yeah, well like he, he, he probably still is a millionaire yeah, but, but yeah, what are they getting what are they getting for this fight 20-30 well, mil yeah then pay-per-view, pay-per-view sales all that sort of stuff man. what do you reckon well, let's see who's got what do you reckon I, I reckon it's, it's, it's got to be at least 50 because I think when he boxed Lennox Lewis in 2000 um, that was that was 20 million and that's like fucking how many years ago? It's got to be earning 50 million for this fight. Do you reckon? Yeah, 50 million. Total? 50 million total. Right. Like, unofficial sources say Tyson will earn 20 million for the fight. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson will face off on each other on July 21st. Uh, July 20th. Tyson is... Well, the next one down says Tyson is set to be earning 30 million for this fight, which includes any sponsorships. So you're looking 20, 30 mil before the pay-per-views. That's a fucking lot of money, bro. Fucking hell. I don't know how people can spend that in a lifetime. How, nah. Yeah, how? but the thing is, when you, I think when you get when you get a certain amount of money coming in, yeah, you start spending unnecessary bullshit in, in, in line with your means. Yeah. So like, people will be like, right, I'm getting a, a jet. Yeah. Then then the, the upkeep of the jet, then the pilots, then the food on the jet, then the pet. pet do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all like all up. that shit adds yeah, up. It's crazy. Quick. I bet. I bet. I wonder how much it is to to have a jet. Yeah, to have I'm a jet. A what, how much is it roughly yeah. to, to own it? But it, yeah, have a pilot. How much is a pilot per year or per flight? It's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. It, it, who's the Amazon guy again? What's his name? Jeff Bezos. Yeah. So the, 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 I, don't, I don't know if you can remember this, but there was this website when you was a kid, and you typed in Jeff. Yeah, it's true as well. You typed in Jeff Bezos uh, money, and there's a catalog. It's a website, right? And there's a catalog. And it shows you how much money he's got in his bank, and you can fucking like buy army tanks, jets. I used to do it in in IT at school. Army tanks, jets, um, fucking boats, uh, the size of the Titanic, and you, I, I'd buy like fucking ten Titanic boats, hundred jets, five hundred army tanks, and it's still left with fucking like this heap of money that you'd never even imagine that you could even spend. you couldn't even spend it. Nah, nah. It just it just kind of shows how much money he's got. It's fucking crazy. Silly me. Amazon is probably. I wonder how much Amazon earns every single day. I'm gonna fucking check that because yeah, check- I've got an Amazon business and I, like, and I know how much money I've I, like Amazon's taken off me. Yeah, that's it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. Like every single month, there's still money. I'm still earning money from them. And they're still taking money off yeah, me. Yeah, of course. So how much? A lot. Does Amazon earn? What are you doing per week? Per, per year? Per day? Per day? Fucking hell! Per day. This is this is per day, approximately one point two nine billion per day. The money that's uh, that's uh, going through that business. Uh, while the daily earnings may vary, re- reports suggest that Amazon rakes in approximately two point nine million daily. Breaking it down, this amounts to fifty three to fifty four million per hour. That is insane. That is Fuck insane. It. It makes me wonder, right, why all these fucking people are poor and shit. Uh, the thing is, though, mate, uh, that's a different fucking... I don't know. It, that, that's a strange one. You because know. because there's so much work out there. And there's people... Do you know these people that complain about there's no work, there's no this, there's no that? They're the people that don't want to... They're, they're, they're the, the ones that don't want to work. And, exactly. they think, and they're the ones that will probably fucking go on the, go on the doll yeah. and then sit on their ass and try to get alcohol pay... Like, they'll go be an alcoholic and then they'll sit on their ass or they'll get in a wheelchair when they're fucking fat and they'll just fucking stroll around on a wheelchair. Do you know what I mean? These Absolutely. are the sorts of people that they're... 100%. People that drink and drink and drink, make themselves alcoholics, yeah. then can go get benefits for it. Yeah, it's crazy. How is that a thing? It's I matter. don't understand it. Nah. But... What a um, life, man. What a life. Fucking mental, mate. The, 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 like, this what? is per year, mate. Amazon. Amazon annual revenue for 2023 was 574 billion 
mental. And that's an 11% increase from 2022. Annual revenue 2022 was 513.983 billion and a 9.4 increase from 21, which was 2021 was 469.822 billion. Every single year it gets more and more and more. If you notice from 2020, when was lockdown? Yeah, when was like, people sat at home? Yeah, when was buying people shit. just buying shit? When even though they weren't working, they were yeah. just spending all the furlough money. Everyone's just spending all the furlough, Doc. Cheese great, isn't it? Cheese great. Yeah, is. no and, shit. and what? What's the? What's the most random thing you've bought off Amazon? The most random thing I've bought for your Amazon? household, let's say, to narrow it down a little bit more. Um, oh shit! Um, I, fucking, I'm an Amazon shopper, bro. Um, I don't know, fucking. A top of the range spatula with a twisty nozzle on top. Really? Yeah. What? They have a twisty thing. Yeah, it fucking spins, bro. Which bit spins? The top bit. The top bit. Spins. Oh, that pissed me off though. Yeah, yeah, but when you, yeah, but I used. Can to... you lock it in place? Um, I believe so, mate. I believe what, you... so. You can fucking press a button or a, like a thing in it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's like a selfie stick. You just press it instead of like taking a photo. Selfie out. spatula. You fucking spatula and uni. What's that invention that we found as well? That's that's selling on Amazon. Um, the selfie toaster maker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's mental. That is mad. Yeah, but... What's the most random thing you've bought off Amazon? (sighs) You're not a random guy, though, in terms of purchases. No. I don't really spend money. No, I'm you're tight. you're a mediocre guy. I'm tight in that in that respect. I wouldn't spend. I wouldn't buy. <laughs> respect. A respecta. <laughs> what? No, no, no. It's uh, off Ali G. What is it? Respect. Respect pa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, um, the the yeah. I'm tight with my money. That's a good fucking. I've got goals, mate. That's a good thing. I've got goals. I'm putting money away. I've fucking. Do you know what I mean? I've got shit going on. I'm yeah. fucking saving. I'm doing X, Y, and Z. And I don't want to be spending my money on dumb shit, shit just because I fancy to buy. I, I have never. I'm not an impulse buyer. Nah. I think that's stupid. And I think you're fucking stupid if you're an impulse buyer. If you've got money, <laughs> sweet. But half the time, especially nowadays, people haven't got the money to just be spending fucking willy nilly and they go, oh, I wish I had more money here and there. You're one of them in terms of I'm not saying you've got no money. What I'm saying is you'll you'll buy something and go, fucking hell. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish you didn't buy that. Yeah, that's Do you uh, know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 do, I do that to be fair. I've he, never done that. You've seen that? You've seen that? Um, quit me if I'm wrong because you've probably seen it before, but there's this guy, I can't remember his name, um, he's on like social media and all that sort of stuff. And basically he's saying, don't spend... Ten, only spend ten percent of what you've got. So, for example, if you've got a million pound in the house, you can spend a hundred grand. Uh, sorry, if you've got a million pound, spend a hundred grand on a house. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you've got hundred grand, spend ten grand on a car. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying instead. Oh, of like, yeah. If you've got hundred grand, the ten percent rule. The ten percent rule. Yeah, that's yeah, it. I've and heard it, that. And it fucking works, man. Of course, it works. People live to be on the means. People, people spend money they haven't got nowadays. They'll get, they'll get cars on finance, and then which is fine though, mate. If because it's finance. Fine ants. <laughs> fine ants. Uh, like, 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 ants sexy ants. Fine as fuck. Fine ants. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, people will spend beyond the means. Yeah. Instead of getting a fucking run around, what, let's say, costs £500 uh, annoys, a grand, yeah, right? £500 to a grand, they'll get a car where they're spending £500 a month yeah. just to look a certain way. That's it. Just to, just to be able to, oh, I'm driving around in a nice car. And that's fine. People... There's no fucking qualms. If you can afford to do that and you, 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 your money's set out right, but nine times out of ten, people don't. Nah. They'll waste their money. They'll be like, well, I'm not, I'm not driving around in a fucking shitty or banged up Corsa when I've got X amount of money coming in. Exactly. But why? Why yeah. don't you just put that five, six hundred pound, what you, just, let's say if you want a decent car, say if you want a Merc or whatever, Merc or a Beamer, and it costs four, five hundred pound a month. Why don't you just save that money for two months Buy a shitty little banger, then for the rest of the year, save up. You probably have six grand saved yeah, up. that's it. And then a year after that, you're 12. year after that, 18. Or put that £500 into a, 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 um, a like a stock, uh, an ISA yeah. from like Hargreaves and Lansdowne and watch it double. Yeah. Mate, I looked at it, right? I think if you put a grand away every single month for this, it, probably the percentages change and stuff. Yeah, it does. I looked at it. If you put away a uh, thousand pound every single month, I think it's two grand down, and then it's a thousand pound every month. Hargreaves and lands down. I think it's like a seven percent increase over time. That's crazy. If I remember rightly, mm. I could be fucking wrong there, but 
if you look into it, there's like a, an investment IC that you can put money into. And I was looking into it from last year. If I put a grand away a month, by the time I'm 50, I'll have half a mil sat there. Mental, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Money makes money. Oh, 100%. But the thing is, what I'm saying is, people would rather spend... Yeah, money is to be spent on all that shit, right? But why not do that as well, but save the fucking cash and potentially put yourself in a very good situation where you can just fucking retire at 50? Yeah. And then you don't have to work until you're 70, which they do now, 65, 70. 69, I think it is. The the, the, What is it? Um... Uh, retirement, retirement age. age. What, what it's, is it? It's mad, bro. Like you work all your life from when you're 16 years old all the way in through until you're 60 plus. Then you fucking die. The state, the state pension, the state pension age is currently 66 years old for both uh, men and women. But we will start gradually increasing ga- again from t- um, May 2026. So, 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 so they're going. They're taking it all. Yeah. So imagine when we're when when we're that age. Mate, my mum's 65, 66, right? Sorry, if you, mom, if you're listening, I can't remember how old you are. <laughs> 65 or 66. It must be it's saying 66, so she must be must 66. Be, yeah, yeah. So she's retired now, my mom. I, the way my mum is now, like her age and all that sort of stuff, if she was still in, in four years' time, she's 70, if she's still fucking working, she, like, the, something's gone on. Yeah. Something's gone on. Society's fucking broken, or I've done something wrong. Yeah. That's the way I look at things. Yeah. But again, without getting into a, <coughs> too much of a serious little fucking pa- Yeah, I know. I can, talk, I can talk about, I talk about that shit all the time. Yeah, same. But it makes me fucking... It, it infuriates me a little bit. It pisses me off, to be fair. Because yeah. Like, 16, what, was the, what was the age retirement age 10 years ago? The thing is, bro, you go to school when you're five. You leave when you're 16. You get straight into work when you're 16. You, you retire when you're 69. I think the... Um, then you die, don't you? Oh yeah, the, the 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 retirement age came forward in two thousand fourteen. From sixty one was it? No, no, I don't know what it is. Um, imagine how pissed off you'd be. It was sixty for women and sixty five for men. So imagine if you were sixty five. That's and- mad. Like as if it was different. It was sixty for women back into the before the Pensions Act in nineteen ninety five. The state pension at a- age had been sixty for women and sixty five for men. And women want equality. Yeah, it is, it is. It is equality now, but back back in two thousand fourteen. Back in like, the, the, the no, thing is, right, nineteen ninety five. Sexist fucking comment right here, right? Well, you take it as you please, but men's jobs are more taxing. You've of got, course, yeah. You, you've got a ground course, worker. Yeah. He needs to retire earlier than sixty because he's fucking, fucking back shagged. A ground worker, uh, fucking a, sca- hell. a scaffolder carrying it, fucking tubes ever, and shit. Mate, scaffold. There's no way you're going to have sixty-six year old scaffolders. Yeah, no. Exactly. You'd hope though they're on great money scaffolders. They're on good yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. So, so you'd hope that they would have been putting it away and all that. But some don't. Again, some don't. Some live beyond the means. the means. They've got all this money coming in and they're fucking spending it. That's it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So I want to do something, mate. I what? want. I want to. Um, I want to show you oh. Casey Frey. Casey? Do you know the guy I sent you, the Batman video? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. It's the so Batman fun, video. Funny, so, so if you listen to this right, I'm going to, obviously on Spotify, there's, um, you're not going to be able to see it, but so you can click, fast forward a little bit if you want. But on on Spotify, uh, sorry, on uh, Instagram, there's a, and on YouTube, there's a guy called Casey, Fr- Casey Frey. Mike, it might be Casey Frey, I don't know, but yeah. F-R-E-Y. Uh, if you want to, his Instagram is probably the fucking funniest Instagram on inst- on on the internet. I discovered one of his videos yesterday, and I was oh, in bits this morning. Oh fucking hell! He's a he's a he's a legit dancer. He can act. He can fucking do it, mate. He, but he does it to take the piss. Yes, yeah. He takes the absolute piss, and I ended up in a rabbit hole again last night when I seen that video, and I was going for all his YouTube, and that mate is so fucking funny. So funny, mate. This is from twelve years ago, bef- like way before everyone started, like. Jumping on the bandwagon. Earning money from, well, earning money from Instagram and stuff like that. But this, the, the YouTube stuff, mate, is so funny. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it up and there. Uh, what's, what's his name? Casey Frey? Casey Frey, mate, yeah. Let's have a, let's have a look at this guy. Because I, I, when you showed me that video last night, mate, I was in absolute bits. Some, First time I've seen him as well, though, to be fair. He does some fucking... Random ass shit. He does some random shit, mate, and he's fucking jokes. Um, You've just... <laughs> he's fucking he's pure jokes mate Listen, songs about- he does he does like disses and raps but he makes them up it's just total bullshit yeah 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 it's just total bullshit 
But the, le- the legit thing is... That is, Batman one, though, yesterday, man, killed me. Yeah, we'll put that on. Um, Batman and Joker. <laughs> Absolutely ruined me, listed. Let's have a look, see. He's got a yellow hat. Ah, on, right? there we go. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> I know you're here, Joker. <laughs> I can smell you. <laughs> I'm right behind you, Batman. Do the Joker part again. Miss me. Not again. You think you can just come out here and just do whatever you want around these streets? Not in my fucking village. <laughs> Oh, you making out with me, Batman, you fucker. <laughs> ah. Oh, fuck. Imagine if they did that, though. I'm thinking about rewriting that. If you guys like my character enough, they can make fucking do that. He just tosses him over, and Batman just walks away. Wait a minute. Until next time, Joker's like... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, How mate. wild is that? The, the, so fucking funny though, mate. He starts fucking his sc- face and that. Oh, mate. The, this guy though, he's sat there by himself. You can tell he just come up with this idea and he just thought, "Fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna record myself." Yeah. <coughs> mate, his fucking jokes. It's so funny. It when when he when he um when he does his skits and that, it's just so random and dry. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it's just total random. But he just, like, you can he, tell he just comes up with the idea. Yeah, because he's making himself laugh. Because he, he's laughing when he's doing it. It's off the spot it. sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, if it, and if, it, if it isn't, it's still fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, mate, the guy's so fucking funny. He's made it, hasn't he? He's, he's, probably cracked, he's cracked the socials. Yeah, mate. To be fair, I think a lot of people could easily do that, you know? Yeah. If you if you didn't give a fuck and you want you didn't care about the judgment of the people it. close to you it, and man. you and you just wanted to start making videos you could start making videos like just talking shit just yeah, absolute just nonsense random shit Are you heard that crazy ginger cabbie nah no no I don't think you so. need to look him up mate he's fucking funny crazy ginger cabbie don't yeah he, he does like a um, he's, he's sat in a cab he's a, can, a cab driver in London pretty sure he's a cab driver in London and he just videos his Tab driver, and he does oh, really? like a, he does like a, um, um, he just, he's just like now then, and he complains about something, yeah, and then yeah. just uploads it, and then he does it again, or he, he, he talks to people in the in the cab, and that's funny, mate. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at that. I'll Dead funny, look. mate. Well, yeah, people are making it on the, on doing this sort of stuff. Like uh, I don't know, we had one on last time, didn't we? Um, not even funny, but um, it was a freestyle rapper, um, Harry Harry Mack. Mate, I, did you see the one with Kendrick Lamar? Nah, no. So he's it. he's made, he's he rapped for Kendrick Lamar on the on a podcast like on a radio station. Oh really? Kendrick Lamar sat next to him, and whilst Harry Max rapping for Kendrick Lamar, uh, Kendrick Lamar is saying words. You know, like oh, when what, he goes what, round, random words. Do you know when he goes round and he and he's like, "Oh, pick four words yeah. from all the crowds." Then they'll te- he knows what's coming. Of course. But he says it during his rap. Oh really? So he'll go, he'll go. Um, Harry Mack will go. What he'll be rapping, and then Kendrick Lamar will go, um, sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato, and then, then he's got to add that into the rap whilst yeah. he's heard it. It's fucking that, that, sick, that, that's mate. Mad talent. The though. talent on that unbelievable. mate is unbelievable. But it, to be honest with you, the the whole fucking it, it, it's class. To be fair, I might show you that actually. Yeah, I want to have a look at it. So fair. sick. Harry Mack and Kendrick Lamar. I've seen that. He's done ones for Exhibit and all that sort of stuff. Um, other other like famous UK rappers. Um. But the, the guy is unbelievably talented. You know what? He's actually you can tell he's actually down to earth, super chill guy as well. Even with all that. Talent. Hey Mac, have you ever met Kendrick Lamar? No. So you've never had a chance to like speak to him. What does Kendrick Lamar mean to you, Harry Mac? Uh, you're huge to me, man. You're, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yo, you're nervous. Your voice is shaking. So it's all good. I get it. I get it. I'm nervous too. He's probably looked See, up Harry to Mac it. Is in yes. The same position that of that situation we talked to. He did new at two stage for yes, us. He did at, at the last powerhouse without a deal. Without yeah, yes, without yeah. anything happening. And he's uh, he's a good dude. Yeah. So we had him up here, and he spit for Joey Badass. Okay. Joey Badass lost it. Okay. 
So we thought uh, he could do the same for Come you. On. What do you think? We yeah. throwing out words? Yeah, Kendrick should throw out everything. That throw out words. Throw out words. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking it back to the lunch table like you talked about. Right. Centennial. Tell his name. Let's go. Yeah. Harry Mack. Let's go. It's his boy, isn't it? He's yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Harry Mack, visual raps, you gotta see. Uh, on new and two and no one heard of me. Murder MC, somebody throw a word at $100. me. $100. Yeah, I'm a lyrical scholar. Every bar I spit, I should get $100. Stack them up real quick, take it to the bank. Harry Mack, every lyric is dank. Rappers get spanked. Water. Yeah, one time I bring them to the slaughter. Holler at the daughter, my flow is water. It's liquid, I'm sick, kid. I drink it out the kid. crystal geyser. You know that I spit flows wiser. H Mac, I'm on it, you know I'm about to hold it. High off the J, cause we rolled it. I told it one time. Every Mac, the mic, I'm about to slay it. He answered two out of three, so he ain't have to pay it. Pen. And one time, every Mac, I'm in the state of Zen. Rip again and again. It's off top, I need no pen. Yo, I'm in my zone when I'm on it. I hit him like a missile. I wish I had the bracelet with the crystals. But Mac ain't got money. Right now, I ain't paid. Every rapper getting slayed. I'ma make his frame decay one time. And yo, I cut him like surgery. Someone throw another word in me. It's absurd. Hell. How I free. Hey, one time, my lyrics is felt. I'm making rappers melt, about to get the crew show belt When I'm all up on it, Harry Mack, you know that I'm performing Yeah, I'm a champion, crew show every morning Yeah, I'm about to kill that, one time I stay true Hold it down with the best in the game, and J. Cruz Yo, we out here right now, never been down and out Matter of fact, I kick a freestyle and hit the powerhouse stage It's back up in the rage, making rappers disengage We on 106, I'm up in the mix with all of the tricks Harry Mack, I holla, get it done Hey, when I'm on the mic, I just be shining like the sun Hey, check it, I'm getting lifted off the marijuana, hit the cronja and the ganja, yama yama the pajama, yo, when I'm on it, I'ma hold it, it's Mac, yo, I'm getting it, off of the top, I'm cold flipping it, yeah, hey, one time, you know I get it done, I remember watching video for Heart Part 1, my homie Brady B put me up on the game, when I watched the flow, I realized the shit was insane, after that, I saw a monster, and I just knew, and before I really knew, then Kendrick and Blue, yo, good kid, Mad City, I was bumping the jam, Harry Mack, I can't believe I'm sitting next to the man, yeah, check it when we do it, yo, the people have to give it up yo we about to take a couple shots about the dixie cup yeah one time i arrest him with flames i'm saying r.i.p prodigy one of the best in the game is terry mack yo hey, let's go. that's sick hey, 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 and he goes on to hey, kendrick hey, lamar goes on to you, know, you see like, young talent like this dog on, what are you man. thinking man you were here no, yeah he's gonna say it, no, you yeah. were there it's the hunger it's the drive what it does you know you, you saying that you know I'm great in your eyes, but you're great in my eyes because you inspired me. You oh, get what I'm saying? Man. When no. I see that, when I see that hunger, it runs me right back to the lab, gets me back on my pen, you know? Mm -hmm. So we, we we inspire each other, man. Just know oh, that. Man. Keep going, for sure. Yo, thank you, man. Sure. Hearing that from you is huge to me, man. This is a huge day for me. So Appreciate it. And I just appreciate it. You let me come in here and do that, bro. No he's still question. nervous, isn't he? He's yeah. still yeah. fucking. He's kicking off. He's, yeah, he's going off. Llama, llama. Yeah, that made house. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to freak him with that one. Yeah, that's but crazy. He fucking made he's so sick, that like Harry Mack. So good. I like to say, you can see he's, humble, he's a humble, nice guy. Do you know what I mean? He's a genuine, Sound. nice guy. And the fact that he's white. Yeah, exactly. Will, will actually me mess it. people up. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because, like, how, how many white freestyle rappers do you know? <laughs> In the in the just UK, in general. It's grime, no, just in general. In general, yeah. How many do you know? Yeah. Freestyle rappers, name one. It's a tough one, isn't it? Barring Harry Mack, there's a white, there's a, there's a guy. Oh, Luna C. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a guy who's a comedian. He he can freestyle rap, and he shocks people at like com comedy shows. Oh yeah. And yeah. he goes, oh, "I'm going to freestyle rap," and then there'll be a black guy in the audience and he'll start laughing and go, oh shit, this is going to be bad sort yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. And he fucking... Destroys sweet, it. Yeah, destroys Just it, mate. But because he looks quite kind of like geeky and nerdy yeah, yeah. It, this guy's like what like what the fuck yeah. and he just kills it just mate. smashes it absolutely fucking kills it yeah it's absolutely a talent bro kills it's, it. a full, it's a mad talent pure right? talent the thing is he's got to be pretty smart to have all the words and all, all them words and the vocabulary and then also to them for them to be able to mix it in with a beat and I know I'm fucking Improvise breaking it. words. Improvising it whilst making it rhyme. Yeah. Generally. That's it. At the same time. I'm, how sick is that? I, I, I also, the, the part that you missed out, he makes sense of it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what just, I mean. It it's just not just, just random. Yeah, just water and daughter and all that sort of stuff. It, he, he actually makes a sense out of it. Yeah. And it, it did say it, that, to be fair, but it, yeah, it made yeah, yeah. sense out of it. 100%. And I think stuff like that is underrate, underrated. Oh, massively. Underrated. Like, massively. He, it, uh, to be fair... I want to see how, how long ago this was. 
Yeah, because he looks younger there. He does look a little bit younger, to be fair. I think he's going grey now, hasn't he? That was six years ago. Six. So, to be fair, mate, I bet Harry Mack's fucking killing it now. Yeah, 100%. Well, we've seen stuff from the minute. From recent, recent stuff, yeah. Mate, the guy's a huge talent. He's still walking around. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ten months ago, he did that freestyle with... Um, uh, Ice, Ice Cube, Seth Rogen. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that, that's we watched good. that before. We watched that. Yeah, that's a good we one. We watched that of yours, didn't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, the guy's fucking massively talented, mate. Massively talented. Unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable, Techers. Techers. <laughs> <laughs> Techeroonie. There he is again, look. He's coming out the oh, old fucking Techeroonie. There, there she is again, fucking co- popping up to say hello. That little, <laughs> that little awkward... That inside voice in me. That, it, that, Inside voice that you can't yeah, but say fucking, a word. It just comes out, bro. It just comes out. He wears a cape and that. When was last time you did it? It was Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia fight. For sure. we, was watch- oh. <laughs> we was was listening to the Ryan Gar- watching the Ryan Garcia fight live. Actually, go and click on the pod if you want to. We're just sat on the sofa chilling, oh, talking shit, and watching boxing. Chilling. But I go, yeah, for sure. Jack goes. Yeah, 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 and I go, yeah, for sure. And he goes, fuck, she's it. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's Tekka's. Mate. Yeah, Tekka Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> the old shindig. The old, oh, that, I'm so gutted that one didn't uh, go on. Same, mate. That was so funny, gutted that one didn't go on, bro. So that was fucking jokes, man. Yeah, John is yeah so anyway, um, I want to ask you a question. When, when we did our first episode, first podcast, you asked me what, Superpower I'd rather have, right? I asked um, you that. Yeah, and what would what did I? Can you remember what I said? I said invisibility. Yeah, and I said speed. S- super speed. Yeah. Would you still have speed? Would you still have invisibility? Hundred percent. Why? I'd be paired with. It's on... so shit. No, it's not. So you shit. You can flick it on and flick it off, mate. That'd be fucking sick. What? Just I'm invisible. Yeah, hundred percent. One million percent. To, you, to be fair, it'd be good for being a fly on the wall and listening to all oh. your all listening to all your mates talking about yeah, you behind your back. Oh shit! Yeah, but I breathe heavy, though, bro. Yeah, you yeah. would. Yeah, you'd be <laughs> like, <sighs> you'd know. You'd name me. I'd, I'd be at smell you. Anyway. You, you could you could <laughs> fucking feel my breath down your back of your neck while you're bathing. Uh, that cold wind on the back of your what, neck. What did you say? You'd have speed, so you could fucking wank dead fast. No, because my fucking dick would fall off. I, no, I'd have, I'd have speed because you could just go anywhere in the world. Can you now. Remember, can, you remember, can you remember Benjamin? Run and walk, probably. Benjamin's watch as a kid. No, Bernard's watch. Bernard's we watch. We talked about it on that pod. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, that would be a fucking superpower object that I'd have. I was, I was thinking, how old was Bernard? How, how, um, Bernard's watch when I was at school. Yeah, same. Um, primary school as well. So I'm guessing 19. I was 92. I was a 92 child, so I'm guessing about 99. British drama series, Bernard's Watch, 1997. No way. 1997. I wonder how old he is now. He's got to be 43. Bernard's Watch, actor, now. 43. That's mad. Go on. Just. He's dead. How old is he? Let's have a look. He's... Thankfully, the now 35 year old. So oh. he's fucking. Oh, to be fair. Yeah, because he was the same age as us as Well, kids, it was we? two years older than us when we were kids, but you, I just. You don't think that. You f- you think maybe that they're not filming it then, I guess. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. That's stupid. That actually, yeah, he was probably the same age when we was fucking filming it when we was that age. Yeah. That's mad. <coughs> Thankfully, the now 35-year-old has changed his mind in recent years and even set up a cameo ac- set up a cameo account to the interaction with Bernard's watch fans on his Twitter. That's mad. He even makes reference to the show in his bio, uh, hilariously reading "husband fa- father." Yeah, fairs. Ah, seeing his he's got he's gone back in time. Is his is his own dad? Yeah. That's, so he's been fucking smoking his own mum. <laughs> 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 he's been smoking his little mummy in that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> fucking weird that so you'd keep the invisibility I, I, either invisibility or Bernard's watch I'd prefer Bernard's watch but you'd, you'd rather have the watch yeah 100% over oh, so you'd rather go back in time if, so no, you, no, so you'd or you'd rather stop time. Stop, time. stop time you'd rather stop time than have invisibility mate imagine imagine that shit I would have that 100% it, would, stop time now pull your fucking pants down wank just, you off get back in my seat jizz everywhere 
and I just wake up like and you just wake up middle of orgasm. It's, oh, that's crazy. What? What? <laughs> that is crazy, isn't it? Nah, nah, nah. I'd be a secret gay though. I won't even know. Yeah, you'd just be jizzing. Yeah. <laughs> now, what would you do if you had Ben as watch? Right, right now. Yeah, right. Like, not I'd, right now. What? Not with me and you. Like, what would you want? It wouldn't just be me and you. Would I? I'd stop time now, bro. I'd go downstairs, smack Richard. I'm joking. <laughs> shout out Bills. Oh, uh, yeah, Richard, shout out Bills. He's going to watch this. R- R- no, I don't think they do. No, nah, Richard's a sound guy anyway. I really like him. But anyway, I'd go downstairs, go outside, all traffic stops, people stops. I'd just go around, like, pulling people's pants down on that. Yeah. Guys. Guys' pants. I won't pull a woman's pants down. No, nah, that's sexist. Yeah. That's, nah, it's uh, not really. It's fucking... You're I'm, gay. I'd be, I'd be pulling little pants around, bro. You're gay, For jokes <laughs> <laughs> You're gay, mate. That would be dead funny, though. I'd go in the tr- girls won't matter that much. Like, not won't matter. Sorry, uh, they, they won't care that much. No. Girls get with the leggings that girls wear now. Anyway, you can see camel toes left, left right, and center. Anyway, yeah. Obviously, it's not as the same, but guys would care because then everyone can see how big the dick is. Yeah, yeah. Or how small. It is. <laughs> I'd, I'd go straight to the gym now. I'll stop the time. Fucking go straight to the gym. Emergency stop all the treadmills. And everyone just goes phone straight off. Yeah. <laughs> straight off the treadmill <laughs> fucking I'd, I'd the person that's on the weight on the bench press now take so, all the weight off nah bro I'd fucking stack more oh, weight oh, off because you could kill him yeah, that's what I'm saying I want to kill bitches oh. I want to kill people <laughs> no, I'm joking no you'd have, you'd have super speed I want to know what you really do with this fucking watch mate <laughs> fuck this is that was that was elaborate but that one what you'd be doing nah, I want to know you're legit what would you be doing if you had Bernard's watch? What actually would you be doing? Uh, right now. If I had it right now, someone gave me it right now, I'd test it out first. What would you test I'd, out? I'd, I'm sat in here, someone's giving me this watch. I'm, I'm sat here like... Go make yourself a fucking bacon bun downstairs and I, come back up, chomp it, and then... Sh- I'd, I'd pause it, slap you around a couple of times to see if you're actually fucking jo- in, the, in, in on the joke. <laughs> yeah. I'd like, so I'd click, like, it back on, I'd click it back on tell you about it because you're the only person in the room tell you about it ask if we can both click it at the same time see if we can both do it oh mate, mate we'll do it and we'll just start fucking necking off of each other and like, oh it. why did you have to <laughs> I did it as well to be fair <laughs> oh well I did it as well to be fair mate you start fucking smacking people in the duke oh it was so funny I, I honestly think <laughs> I honestly think I'd, I'd stop time in in, in scenarios that just to totally make myself laugh. Yeah. Just like in public places. Now, when you rob a bank? You could rob a bank, couldn't you? Yeah, but would you? I wouldn't steal from... I, I, I wouldn't steal plenty of goodie. However, if I had Bernard's watch, I'd be fucking... I don't know, I reckon I'd... Because you never get caught. It's not about getting it's caught. Like it's that, about a principle, It's like it? that film Jumper, when he, like... Yeah, yeah. Jump, yeah, and he just fucking goes and Goes inside all. banks. Yeah, I'd probably go to a... I don't know, I probably would fucking... Rob a bank. Would you? Yeah, I reckon so. I'd rob like... Old women. I'd rob Rishni Sunak or something like that. Would you? Yeah, the fucking prick. I'd rob... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even follow his shit, to be nah. fair. He's seen, he's seen that he's putting in national service. Supposedly. That's never going to fucking I wonder happen. if his kids will go. Yeah, exactly. That... I, I don't know how old his kids are, nah. but let's have a look. Yeah, but... I think they're probably over the age of 16 now. How old are Rishni? I, I don't think it'll ever happen. It'd be good. It'd be good if it happened, but I don't think it will. Uh, it doesn't say. Nah, it'll, 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 that'd be private, won't it? It'd be a private, private little thing, that. But um, well, it came up though. I don't think that will ever happen. What the the national service at eighteen? Yeah. I can't find it. No. Nah. But do you, do you not think it will? Nah, I can't see it. Do you know Rob Clark, who came on the pod? Yeah. He did a thing about it on Sky News yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man, so have a look at that. Yeah. I don't know where I don't know where it is. Like, Obviously, it'll be on Sky News, yeah, but I mean, I don't know if he's put it on his uh, Instagram on his or YouTube yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he he he, um, he 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 rates it. Yeah, I do. I think it's a good thing. I think for discipline and all that, 100%. the kids now, fucking hell. Little dickheads, man. Yeah, but the thing is, right, you've got all, you got all that in, in the forces now. You've got politically correct... Really weak people mm. that are going that are going in the forces and they're just fucking struggling, mate. Yeah, uh, mate. You know Liam. Yeah, who was in the gym earlier. Yeah, yeah. He was telling me that there's a guy that transitioned to a woman now and now has to do the women's fitness tests. Fuck He's still man. a bloke. He ain't a, he ain't, 
the thing is... You've still got the P&I. Well, yeah, but still, that don't make you... Like, you'd still be able to run faster than all the women. No shit. And, and you'd still be fitter, stronger. Stronger. But he, this person, went from a, a male to a female and now, and now on the bleep test and he has to do, like, five or six or something stupid like that, whereas before it was, like, 12 or something... Let me let me check that because that's fucking wild, isn't it? That's insane. That's fucking crazy. Um, RAF uh, bleep test. It's mad. This whole fucking transitioning thing. Oh, that's the distance uh, bleep test standards. It's got to be half. You need to you need to score well on the bleep test. Pass mark is nine point one for RAF and eleven for Royal Navy. But aim for three above this score, right? Um, men and women. Pretty sure the police is like fucking five. The, the, oh, the police force, yeah. bro. You seen some fucking policemen? I don't know how they even do it. Policemen and women. Mate, I can't, to be fair, I can't find it, but... Yeah, it's... The bleep it, test, it's easy. Lesser, it's Have you lesser. ever done a bleep test? Yeah. Have you ever done a bleep test? Yeah, yeah, at school, we used to do a bleep test all Mate, the time. Mate, it's fucking easy. You can walk it. Yeah, You yeah. can walk a five. Yeah. You can walk a 5.4. Is, is there back, there back... Sorry, it's it's um, quarter back, half back, full back. That's one. No, no, it... It's, it's, it beeps, doesn't it? So if you if you did it in the cone... If you I did, see what you're saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's I think it's different for each... It depends how fast you beep. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's it. But the 5.4 or whatever it is... Is relatively easy. I mean, you'd be able to walk up to 8, 9 easy, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. The police the police now, they've got fucking... They've got theirs. It's stupidly easy. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? And then you've got overweight people in the police and the overweight people in... I don't think... I, I don't reckon you'll have many overweight firefighters, though. Nah, of course you won't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 I was thinking about firefighter. Like, I, I, I've done it... Well, I, um, when I was in Leeds, I wanted to do it back, way back when. But, yeah, that would be a fucking class job to do. Yeah, but it's it, it's the things that you potentially could see. Yeah. I mean, I've seen dead bodies, bro, but fucking Ben, alive, yeah, dogs, yeah, man, yeah, that'd yeah. kill me. Some people won't be able to handle it. Yeah. I'd It'd be, be hot, wouldn't they? What? It'd be hot to handle. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. You're like, fucking uh, dickhead. Lads. Uh, a little bit of pooch on the ground. Burnt pooch? <laughs> oh, why'd you have to go to... I'd rather Come see on. a burnt human. Don't say a child. I'd rather see a burnt human than a fucking dog. Yeah, would you? Yeah. Mm. I'd rather see you a crispy a than Zazu. Cri- <laughs> Just a little fucking crispy. You, you steaming. Absolutely steaming Just crispy fucking... bacon. Right, what time are we on? Right, it's <laughs> fucking 20 to 12. So I reckon, right, I want to fin- finish it on Mike Tyson, Jake Paul verdict. Oh... Uh. Right, first one, I'm going to go with truth, what's going to happen, what I think is going to happen. Jake Paul beats Mike Tyson on a new unanimous decision. Tyson's fucking upset and blah, 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 blah. Jake what, Paul beats him. Jake Paul beats him on a new unanimous. What I want to happen, Tyson sparkles Jake Paul rapid. Oh, yeah, fucking hell, that'd be unbelievable. I don't dislike Jake Paul. Bam. I don't dislike Jake Paul, but I want Tyson to fucking spark out. Spark yeah. him out. Why was it? They were saying that he had mu- uh, stomach ulcers and that, wasn't there? That's I wonder if that's true. Supposedly it is true, but it's made a full recovery. And that's what the reason why they, and they didn't stop the plane because of that reason. They stopped the plane because it needed maintenance. Yeah. The, 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 the news tabloids and all that sort of stuff, the fucking dicks yeah, out it's mad, there. Isn't it? mad. Just some of the Some of the headlines are like, whoa. And then you look into it, it's like nothing. Yeah. It's just clickbait. Yeah, literally. It's just clickbait. I, I reckon they should get the guy that runs Lad Bible. To do the fucking headlines for, yeah, mate. I see one. They've on... pretty much got their own. That is a pretty much their own newspaper. Yeah, yeah. But with like online posts. Uh, you see, you see. I, I was flicking through Lad Bible today. It's pretty funny to be fair. It don't even sound funny, but um, in a ta- in a takeaway shop, this guy fucking beats up the um, beats up this guy in a takeaway shop. Yeah. So Just there's a, a, another guy wanting. A yeah, takeaway. They're, they're both getting takeaways. They're obviously both pissed or something. So one guy says something to him, so he fucking beats him up, and uh, then there's one guy in the black back recording it calls him. Donna McGregor. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell, Donna McGregor. Well, that's the shit the post. And it's yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, it's just random just human random, behavior. Yeah, random funny shit instead of fucking bullshit fake news. Fuck CBBC. BBC, CBBC's kids, isn't it? CBBC's kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. but BBC are cunts anyway. Yeah, fuck them. 
Ockham and feed him rice. Right. Well, our last question for you, mate. On, I, I, just want, I watch our verdict. I want my Tyson. I'm the same as you. I yeah. think I think Jake Paul might win. By decision or by knockout? Yeah, I don't know. He's got. He's really heavy. Mike Tyson's 58. He hits hard. If he gets him in the head, and it's one, it's maybe fourth round in, fifth round in. They're both tired. They've both been going at it fast for two minute two rounds. Yes, yeah, so two it's minute rounds. So it's a sprint. It's not. It, it, it's like a 400 meter sprint rather than a 100 meter sprint. Yeah, it? yeah, literally. You got to go. You got to be able to last 12 rounds. Of but but six rounds as well. Is it six rounds? Six rounds. Oh, that changes some stuff. Twelve minutes of fighting. That changes some stuff. Ah, so you're changing your tune. You're changing your mind. I think Tyson might win then. Tyson's a busy fighter. Jake Paul is Was. gonna have to go out. Yeah. I want I want Mike Tyson to fucking knock him out, but also Jake Paul's a young lad. He might be able to go hundred every single round because he's been training hard. Yeah, yeah. Or he might outbox him. We'll see. We'll see. I, I, I think... I, I personally, 14 ounce gloves might get it in the head and just fucking go down straight away. Yeah. We'll see, bro. July the 20th, we'll, we'll, we'll do a live. We'll get it on live. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do definitely that live. watch that live. Absolutely. Yeah, Mike Tyson, I want him to fucking knock Jake Paul out, but it's highly likely he won't because of his age. That's what I'm thinking. Agreed. Agreed. Six rounds, two minute rounds, six... 12 six, minutes, bro. 12 minutes of fighting. If, if if Mike Tyson brings fifty percent of what he was before, he'll win. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean? If he brings fifty percent. Well, he's been he chilled. Was... He's been chilled in his fights. Yeah. He's been, in his press press conference, he's been chilled, making jokes. Just make it. It's not ferocious. He's getting twenty thirty mil, bro. Yeah. I'd fight anyone for fucking twenty grand. Oh yeah. Anyone in the world. Yeah, hundred percent. I'd fight fucking Francis Ngannou. Bollico, mate. N- naked. Yeah. For twenty. That'd 20, be decent. Twenty bucks. 20 bags. Yeah, mate. I'd fuck it just it. fucking straight down the pipe and sparks you out and you just get 20 grand. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Even with brain damage. I'll be buzzing with that shit. Even with brain damage. Yeah. What, he, you've got brain damage? No, again. He, he again. Won't, again. He won't give me brain damage. I'll slip and slide and fucking moisturise it. Yeah, that's what Tyson Fury said, mate. Yeah, he true. He nearly smoked yeah, he did, him. mate. He did. He nearly fucking beat him. Oh, just a quick one before we finish. Fucking Tyson Usyk. Usyk. Boxed his lips off, bro. Oh. One of probably one of the, the most impressive boxing performances I've seen in fucking ten years. Not the best fight, but the best performance in terms of fighting a bigger guy. In what skill. a fucking oh mate, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Music is fucking talented, it's hard so working, good, mate. Is that, is, humble, bro, he down boxed to earth. In the amateurs, as a middleweight, did he? As a middleweight, that's wild. It's crazy. And did you hear what Tyson said, uh, my, uh, Ty- Fiori said afterwards? Lost a lot of respect for him for saying that. Mate, he said, oh, the reason why he won is because his country's at war. <laughs> what? You fucking on about? Yeah. Hang your gloves up, mate. I, I hate he it. Beat, he beat Anthony Joshua twice as well. Yeah. You sick. Yeah. And he's beat Fiori now. Who else has he beat? Who, you sick? Yeah. Fucking, everyone. Everyone who's He's a, beat everyone. Yeah, man. So what, how can you take that away from him? It, it, do you know what I mean? It's so good. It, Tyson's one of them, though. The whole build-up, his dad, the whole build-up of the, his dad, Ed, but in that 18-year-old kid, just because there was... Mate, there was all argue, there was all like confrontation and all that, that but there, he, would, he didn't end up... With Ed, but the guy that was crashing heads with... Nah. He didn't end up but the other bigger he was, guy. He was a decent he had, sized he had, guy. He the little fucking five foot nine, five foot ten kid. guy, kid, kid who's eighteen years old, and then what did he get out of that? Yeah, a except looking out. like a bell end. Yeah, absolutely. that's karma. That. Yeah, hundred percent. He, he looked. He off, looked worse off. Yeah, he did. Yeah, fucking Carl Frock did a reaction video to oh, that as well. So good. So it. good. If you're listening, you should go watch that. But it's fucking mental, mate. How the Fiori family is. I I was. Glad day. I know everyone's saying go with a Brit, go with a Brit. You should be supporting him. Yeah, but he's di- he's a dick. Yeah, yeah, and so is his dad. Yeah, his dad's a prick. Fio- Fiori is actually funny though. Like Tyson Fiori is funny in some of the stuff he comes out with, but his dad's a fucking bell end. Yeah, like his dad. His dad just. I wonder if they talk about it and say make it more b- to get more attraction. Yeah, that's it. Maybe so. Maybe maybe, maybe, maybe it's all like a clickbait ploy, and his dad it? just does it because he wants him to get more attraction towards the fight. But it I, does. I, I it's supposed to be a gentleman's sport, isn't it? Yeah, it's meant to be a gentleman's sport. But I think I think Tyson's dad, Tyson Fury's dad, is like that because when Tyson made his pro career, when he when he first turned pro, because he was quite young when he turned pro, um, he was beating people and all that sort of stuff. And then his dad vanished out of his corner, and his uncle re- uh, replaced really? him. Really? And it's because his dad uh, gouged someone's eyes out and got put in prison for it. That's actually true. At uh, well. a fight? 
Um, it wasn't a fight. Well, it was a fucking fight, obviously, but not a boxing match. Oh, right. But he gouged someone's eyes out in a pub or something like that, and he was arrested. So he's a fucking hot-headed bully, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he looks like a bully. He's he seems a like a bully. Dick, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, let's leave it there. Yeah, man. And, guys, if you're listening, subscribe. We love you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. We've had some fucking good feedback, you know, man. Yeah, mate. It's been sick, by the way. We're not getting fucking thousands of views or like that, but we've had genuine people that, even people that know us, contact us and going, look, you guys are fucking jokes. People that we didn't um, expect. And the thing is, like, the thing is, no, people that we didn't expect, that's the best thing. People that are your mates that are fucking bigging you up and saying, usually they say, they'll, they usually, they'll tell you fu- that it's shit. Yeah. So, I mean, thanks for everyone listening. We fucking really want to make this a thing. And we're going to carry on doing it forever. So expect us in fucking 10, 20 years to be still talking shit. Literally, it's going to happen. Talking shit. We're going to be two old men sat here talking shit in a fucking, in our house. Comparing Zimmer frames. Comparing Zimmer frames and fucking wheelchairs and all that. So fucking stay on board. We love you if you're supporting. If you're not, click subscribe button. Yeah, yeah. And don't be a dick. Love you. Bye. Thanks, guys.